So Nick, congratulations for getting into the Doug Moran this year. It's you, as you know, it's one of my favourite all-time paintings of yours. A lot of a lot of people love that painting too. Some a lot of people have actually said it's my best portrait ever. It's it's funny because when I started, you know, I started. I, I've got my sketch pad here because I do millions of sketches beforehand. Yeah, yeah, right. Pe people think that you know because the final finish is so realistic that it's all photography based. But I, I actually start with sketches and I work out the composition quite carefully beforehand. Mm. So I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. you know, the first compositionals, and I do these little thumbnails because it's a great way of working out a solid composition, uh, were square. We're following that format. Oh, yeah. And these are from life? No, I do these in my head. Oh, these are just from your imagination? Yes. Ah, oh, to get the composition? Yes. Right. So I work it all out in my head and I work out lighting in my head. It's all, I, I play around with all of that. Oh, and then, so this is before the photo shoot? Yeah, before I, I sat down with her. And then, you know, I start to refine them. And this is where you can see where I'm starting to play around with more eccentric compositions. Yes. Right? And I'm starting to move away from the square. Ah. And I think somewhere on this page is actually the final composition. It's very yeah, the one at the bottom, I think. Yeah, it's a very tiny little sketch. Yeah, that's right. I think there's one up here too where it's very similar. Yeah, yeah. that's... Yeah, it is. Oh, so, and I can even see there you've got the square and then you've extended it. Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. And is that... So this, this developed just over doing sketch after a thumbnail after Yeah, I thumbnail. do lots of little thumbnails. And, and I, I think in this sketchbook I've even got Den's sketches. I can show you those two. Yeah. Course. So again, this is before the photos. Yeah, before I even sit down with the man. Uh, yeah, right. Right, and then, and then they're refined. Mm. And so... You know, I'm moving his head around, so there's a left, you know, facing left, there's a version facing right, there's a face there's a version facing more towards us. And I think one of these is I think that evolved to that. And that's pretty much the final painting. The other thing is I take lots of photos from different angles because I sculpt. I can think about um, relighting. I can, th you know, I, I see it in three dimensions. I paint in three dimensions. So Natasha um, was very interesting because the lighting there, she's very, very fair and she's got reddish hair. And uh, the colours that I was starting to shift the painting in, well, I was going kind of blue purples to mm. exaggerate. I wanted her to look porcelain. Yes, yes, you really got that, I reckon. Uh -huh. and but the hair just didn't look right in natural colour, so I darkened the hair mm. because I wanted some kind of blue in the hair as well. It's it's uh, it's fudged, you know. I fudged yeah, the yeah. whole thing, yeah. but you know she did sit for it. And so if you look at the painting, um, you know the, there are veins in her eyelids. And they're painted, you know, these are all painted from life. And yeah. Natasha was terrific. She's a, well, she's an artist, so she knows yeah. how to sit. Yeah. Right? And so she go, we had this very long day and she just sat the whole day. Oh, wow. And um, that's where the painting just became what it, what it is. Well, it must make a difference if the subject is an artist. Does it? Yeah. Like, I mean, as, do you feel not as nervous about the reception you're going to get at the end? Well, well, they know, I think they understand process. And what is interesting is when other people, you know, you get to reveal your entire process when you're working this way. Um, and people don't normally like their portraits, their, their, their portraits. Yeah. They're very funny about it. And yeah. I understand, I get it. Yeah. But I, I think it's really good because, you know, I finished the painting. Yeah. And then suddenly she had this rise to fame. Well, that's right. Like she's won three prizes this year in twelve weeks. Yeah. So she won. Uh, um, she got the Bre uh, Brett Watley Travelers Scholarship. Yeah. And the Kilgore. The Kilgore, and then the Mossman. Yeah. In very close succession, and uh, you know when you're painting a you know a, a piece for a competition particularly, and this painting was painted for the Moran. Mm. Um, 
there's a strategy involved as well. So your subject plays a very important part, I think. Mm. And uh, I thought Natasha's portrait ticked all the boxes this time. Yeah. So you, so you <coughs> are thinking about that when, say, you do an Archibald portrait, you are thinking about the profile of that person. Yes and no. I, less so with the Archibald. <coughs> because this year's Archibald had painted um, the writer Christos Cholkis. Mm. And yeah. you have a hit list, right? And Christos <laughs> was always really, you know, up the top of my hit list because I wanted to meet him, yeah, you know, yeah. more than anything. Yeah. And, um, and How did you get in contact with him? It was, I, t I tried, I got no response from publishers. You know, I tried, really? I tried everything. Yeah. And uh, uh, an, an author friend and a critic uh, in Melbourne knew I wanted to paint him. Yeah. And she was at a, an, a writer's event and she went up to her and she said, my friend Nick Stathopoulos wants to paint you for the Archibald. Yeah. And he said, here's my contact. So he was aware of you, no doubt. I don't know. Right. Maybe they Googled you. Maybe afterwards. <laughs> they, they found out. They, they found yeah. out. But I went down oh, to I'd Melbourne. Say, yeah. What was funny was I went down to Melbourne. I stayed with a vet coppersmith oh, yeah. while I was yeah, working right. on that, which was it's so much fun. She's she's a lot of fun. Yeah. In fact, we went through her wardrobe. We went while I was staying with Yvette. We went through her wardrobe, and she said, "If I get into the Archibald, I'm going to wear this." And she was pulling out the dresses, and she goes, "If I win the Archibald, I'm going to wear this." And she did. Oh, she wore did the she? dresses. I think she looked really good that day. <coughs> yeah, she, she pulled out she's these. Got great dress sense. She's great fashion sense. Oh, she's a fashionista. Yeah, yeah. Total yeah, yeah. fashionista. Yeah. Well, of course it is. And she had the most beautiful paintings she had just finished. I was really... Oh, really? <coughs> yeah, I thing... really liked her winning painting, actually. In the I did too. One. I thought it was great. Yeah, I, I think she's... I love the way she paints. I, I love the way she does self-portraits, actually. There's a lot uh, of self-portraits. What's funny paint. is, yeah. right, as you said that to me, you just adopted the pose. Turn the camera... Wait, wait, give me... <laughs> no, I'm not going on Wait, wait, on hold, no. hold... Yeah. Look. I don't like being on the camera. Yeah, yeah, so. I know, but you just adopted the... Yeah, you just automatically adopted <laughs> no, the I pose. No, I do, that's true, the event yeah, pose. You, you adopted the pose yes. of the painting. <laughs> that's so brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a good painter. She's a terrific painter. Yeah. I love her a lot. It was very nice spending time with her. It was... Yeah, and so can I... Now, I want to ask you yeah, yeah. something I've always wanted to ask you. Yeah. From what I understand, on many occasions, when you choose someone for a portrait... Yes. Your partner, Adrian, has got a lot to do with it. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, we all need an Adrian in our lives. Because when, you know, we first, uh, you know, I just had a quadruple bypass at the time when uh, we were watching um, the Gruen transfer and they ran the footage of De that little film about Deng made by Western Sydney University. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was just so emotionally you know um struck by this film i was like in tears i was just sitting there going oh my god oh my god and adrian just gently turned to me and went dang you have dang you have to paint dang yeah. and he the next morning he had looked up his office and found a contact for him and i emailed him that morning and that afternoon dang had said yes yeah, wow. That must be a thrill when they say yes. Oh, I was just, I, I couldn't believe it because I thought all day I'm thinking someone else has got him for sure. And yeah. we, I asked him during, during the sitting, I said, did other people get in touch with you to sit for them? Yeah. And he went, yeah, man. And he said, eight people. Oh, wow. And wow. I said, wow, eight people. Yeah. Um, what made you choose me? And he said, your email was, he said it was something poetic. Said your email um, was poetic. Maybe because you're both lawyers. I don't know. In fact, we talked a lot about law. Well, you're not a lawyer. You're a lawyer. Yeah. Well, I suppose you're yeah, sort of a lawyer. Yeah, kind of a lawyer. Um, a latent lawyer. <laughs> we, we did talk about all of that as well. That, that gave us a commonality because Dan yeah. knows nothing about the art world. And I think when he gave his talk at the Art Gallery of New South Wales, I don't think he'd ever, even been into the building before. Mm. Mm. Which was very interesting. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah. So, oh, so wow. he, he, it was a whole new world to him. I think. Yeah, yeah. And what about um, changing tack now? What about your these beautiful triptychs you're doing? These landscapes. Um, they, I really love those. Yeah. Oh, man, they're, they're 
beautiful and I think this um, they're 40 by 40 centimeters yes. each each yes. panel mm. um, and um, where, where did that, that idea come I was from? I was invited into the a 40 by 40 show three years ago by Nadine Wagner Wagner contemporary and I did some paintings for them for that and some of them saw I didn't have much time I was asked pretty late in the in the day and um, the 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 old toy paintings that I paint yeah. take a long time they're very complex precise paintings mm. and I didn't have time to do that kind of stuff but landscapes because they're organic shapes they're not me mechanical shapes are hard to paint because they're precise there's a precisionism that's involved with them uh, organic shapes are fun more interesting to paint and it allows me to do something looser and so I textured the backgrounds and painted in a more in a, in a looser technique because it's it's a faster way of creating artwork mm. but they're still quite Finesse. They're still quite detailed, and there's a little twist to them. Yeah, what, what's coming up this year? Like next year, we're coming up to 2019. Yeah. Good plans. I've got two portrait commissions currently, oh. which are very rare. They don't. They're few and far between actual portrait commissions. How do you feel about commissions? I love doing them because if someone comes to you, it means they like your work, mm. you know, and mm. uh, I think it's a, a huge compliment. For someone to ask for um, a portrait from you, yeah. um, one is for um, one of my collectors, so that's special. Yeah. You know, they've got quite a few of my paintings. So uh, mm. when they said they wanted a portrait, I just went, "Oh, that's really great!" You know, I was really happy with that. Uh, and are they going to be? And are, are they going to be large format? No, they liked. It's funny because they liked Natasha. Right, so um, it's done the same proportions and scale as Natasha's portrait, which is good. Yeah. Um, the one afterwards is going to be larger, it'd be more like some of my earlier portraits, about 90 by 90. I've got, uh, I think I've got one more. That's Adrian. Oh, is it? You yeah. want to get it? I'll pause it. Oh, he's late. Where were we? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Um, I've, I've, um, I'm quite a bit of soul searching regarding the prizes. Mm. I think I've got one more Archibald in me, mm. you know, unless, you know, a, a sitter um, presents themselves that I'm really interested in doing. But... Uh, Do you find it gruelling emotionally? Or what is it about it that you find difficult? Uh, it's, a, it's a big chunk of time. Uh, there's uh, an, uh, an element of expense in the process because you have to ship the paintings around and that adds mm. to it. Um, then, the you know, emotionally it's really taxing because if the painting doesn't get in, comes back, you know, and you start to worry about uh, what did I do wrong? And of course you've done nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it just must always be a bit disappointing each time. But I mean, you've been hung so many times. Not really. It's funny because I gave a talk at the Moran and someone said to me, oh, you know, you've been hung so many times. And I go, no, my strike rate's actually quite low. You know, and this year I entered the British Portrait Prize, the Archibald, the Kilgore. Uh, I got into the Kennedy. I got into the Shirley Hannon and I got into the Moran. Yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, <laughs> that's that's pretty that's pretty yeah, good for most the, people. The, they'd the, be pretty happy. But, with but that. It, uh, you know the Moran, you know, I, Natasha was specifically painted for the Moran. Yeah. You know, yeah, I just went. This is a Moran painting. And I think also with the Moran, it was for me. I don't usually express sort of views on these things, but. I, I, I was really hopeful for that, for you to win that. Um, but congratulations, of course, to, to Lynn Savory. Yeah, I, I liked her painting a yeah. lot. Um, Adrian was, it's funny because Adrian has a totally different take on paintings because I look at them from a technical point of view. And we were talking about the hands in her painting and um, he said to me, uh, Egon Sheila. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. And we, we talked to Lynn on the night and he, I said, oh, my partner Adrian picked up on the hands. He said he thought they looked like Egon Sheila. And she said, 
That's what she based it on. Oh, did she? She'd actually oh. based the hands on Egon Schiele. Well spotted. So that's Adrian <laughs> for you. He's got, yeah. like I said, he's got a better eye with for these things than I do. Yeah, yeah. Unburdened. Look, I don't care what style it's in. I don't care what style of painting is in. I really love stuff that's, you know, out there, that's different. Um, I know I paint a certain way. That's because I'm obsessive compulsive and that's the way I paint. Um, but I love other people's, especially when it's loose and free. Mm. It must be so liberating to be able to just paint that way. Yeah. Um, um, I don't care what style it's in, as long as it's a good painting. Yeah. It always yeah. comes down to... And there are two things that I think personally make a good painting. It's got to have some kind of technical... Um, um, it's got to have some kind of technical skill level yeah. and it's got to have some artistic integrity. And the skill level thing, the technical thing, is easy to quantify, but the, um, art, the big A art thing mm. is very hard to quantify because it's so subjective. Yeah, that's that's very true, isn't it? It's and that's subjective. what and that's and that's the whole crux of prizes, isn't yeah. it? Because it's so subjective. It's very subjective. The judges, mm. you know. And that's that's cool too, but it's gotta have both those things yeah. to make it a successful painting in my opinion. Yeah. Thanks so much, Nick. It's a great conversation. No, it's always fun to talk to you.